Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Fabric with mods for Minecraft 1.19.2. The process is actually fairly simple. All you got to do before we get started is open up your Minecraft launcher. All you got to do is make sure to launch the 1.19.2 release just once by selecting it in this list right here and then clicking play. If you've already played 1.19.2, you can use the timestamps to skip this step. Once you've made it to the main menu, all you got to do is click quit game. Now the next thing to do is use the link down below in the description to this page, mcmodspot.com, with a tutorial on how to install Fabric for Minecraft 1.19.2. All you gotta do is scroll down a little until you see Fabric Mod Loader right here. I'm gonna open this in a new tab, and then over here you click Download here. If you're on Windows, just click this huge blue button, and if you're on any other operating system, just click Download Universal Jar. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna click this. Then you can open this file, just click it. This will open up the fabric installer, which will have selected the default settings. And these are usually also the correct settings. So all you gotta do is make sure it says create profile here and then click install. This usually only takes a second or just a few seconds. Then you click okay, close this window. And now you can already get to installing your favorite mods. If you're looking for fabric mods for 1.19.2, you can just go over to this website, mcmodspot.com and browse the 1.19.2 mods. Now some mods will also require you to install fabric API, which you can get from this link right here. I'm gonna open that in a new tab that brings us to CurseForge and all you gotta do is download the latest one, 1.19.2, click the download button right here wait five seconds and then your download will automatically begin. Just like that, I'm gonna drag this over to the desktop because we're also gonna be downloading a mod to install. So the mod I'm gonna install for this video is Zero's Minimap, which you can find using the link down below here, but you can download any Fabric 1.19.2 mods that you want. Once over on this page, you just click download and then you'll be taken to the download section and what I'm gonna do is click this one, download 1.19.2 to 1.19 right there. As you can see, we'll be taken to the 1.19.2 version of Zero's Minimap for Fabric here. It's important to make sure your mod is for Fabric and not for Forge. Then click download. Once again, I'm gonna drag this mod over to my desktop because now what we're gonna do is open up our .minecraft folder. To do that on Windows, you can either use the search bar or use Windows R which is a shortcut that opens up the run window and then you type in percent app data percent and then you click OK. If you're on any other operating system such as Mac OS, you gotta do a quick Google search on how to get to your .minecraft folder. Once you're here, you click the .minecraft folder. If you've never installed mods before, you right click somewhere, hover new, click folder and you name it mods all lowercase. Now open up your newly created folder drag in Fabric API and the other Fabric mods that you would like to install, and that's it. Now you can close this window, open up the Minecraft launcher. Now all you gotta do is make sure to launch the newly created Fabric Loader profile for 1.19.2. Just select it from this list and then click play. Sometimes a pop-up may appear because it is your first time installing a certain version of Fabric or Forge or Optifine, then you just gotta read what it says Tick the box that says I understand the risks and then you can click play and proceed to play in Minecraft with mods. As you can see, we've made it into Minecraft 1.19.2 slash fabric modded, which means we've successfully installed fabric. Now to check whether your mods were successfully installed, all you gotta do is create a single player world and just check whether they appear. There we go. As you can see in the top left corner, we now have Zero's minimap and if I press Z, we can zoom in and everything works. So that is how you install fabric and mods for Minecraft 1.19.2. That's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as hit that big red subscribe button and the bell right next to it. And then without any further ado, I will of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya.